Hey guys, welcome back to Channel Name Pending. I'm Manny. I'm Fabio. And today we are reacting to Echo Season 1, Episode 3, Too Close. When last we left our hero, or anti-hero, or criminal, um, Maya just attacked part of Fisk's organization, hoping to um, start her eventual takeover. She got biscuits involved. She got biscuits involved. Bro. Four biscuits. Biscuits? It's gonna. It's definitely gonna be collateral damage. Yeah, he's gonna die. Um, Bonnie knows she's in town, so she's probably gonna search her out too. And he's the thing is that Maya doesn't know if Fisk is alive. Yeah, she thinks he bought. She bopped her ass. So it's gonna be. She. I think she feels like she's probably in control right now, but it's 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 a. Uh, it's gonna be a hard awakening when she finds out. Ah, uh, that Fisk is back. I think she's gonna be pissed. <clears throat> oh yeah. I think we're just really excited to get into it. So without further ado, let's go. I love how it had the Marvel intro. Mm -hmm. This is the woman we saw very briefly at the end of last episode. This is probably another one of the first Choctaw's incarnations who I'm using the word incarnation in place of whatever's going on. Women are life givers, men are life takers. Damn. That's that sexism. To give life means nothing if I cannot protect it. This is really good cinematography for the. What, 1800s? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> they got that 4K. Dynamic camera angles. Damn. Shit. Look at that shot. I like the storytelling. They fell for the old, it's a fucking not my body trick. Oh! <laughs> they got caught back in, bro. <laughs> That's on them. Oh, her name is Tuklo. Oh, so was right. What'd I say, bro? I mean, we figured that out last episode. I figured that out. Hey, the world. The. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's a hero. Pop the nowhere. Oh, shit. She said, Who are the life takers? <laughs> Did you know in the comics that Maya has a handprint on her face from when her dad cupped her face before he died? Oh. Yeah. It looks, um... Oh. And they alluded, or they paid homage to it in the episode where her... Or the, in the scene where her dad died. When, um, his blood print was on oh, her Oh, it was on her face. She still hasn't gotten her car back from Biscuits, eh? Oh, the truck? Fuck. You used to melt like butter when I talk Indian to you. That was a long time ago. It's my back. Oh, what's this? Look, he has more ribs than I do. She's very in trouble with her. I don't even know her. And you do? You haven't seen her any more than I have in the last 20 years. Really? Oh, oh. What's she up to then? It's not for me to say. Why don't you ask her? Yeah, I have nothing to say. So why don't you just leave her alone? Maybe you shouldn't talk to her. Maybe you should just listen for once. Respect. Was that the dude from the bowling alley? Yeah. Was that a bowling? I thought that was a roller blade. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Roller rink. 
getting followed. You didn't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh okay. that's gonna be scary as fuck. I'm telling you, she's the avatar. Water. Oh. Yo, does this smell like chloroform to you? Oh, Holy my shit! God. They didn't have to hung up the other leg. Come on. That's just That's disrespectful. Nice. That's unnecessary. How are you gonna let yourself get? Well, that was easy. That was. That's that's another reason they shouldn't have fucking. Oh. oh. Knowing Maya, I think these guys are about to get fucked up. Who the fuck? Sorry, this is unrelated, but her leather jacket is really nice. Oh! Wait, they hung her upside down. You got him just too. Just to wait for her to wake up and fall down so they could take her. Or maybe they saw her fall and. What if they didn't see her fall? Like. Oh. I use my babes here. I like that we saw that um, from Maya's POV, so we had no idea what they were saying. Mm -hmm. Bitch. Shouldn't have done that. Now she has her leg. Or she can get to her leg. Oh, yeah, right. Classic underestimation. Oh, shit. Is this Grace or what was her name? Bonnie. Bonnie. No. Yes. Maybe? Hanging into the back? Hey. Hey, I tried to find it. Yeah, sorry. Uh, not a good time. And they play Pretty busy. Like, such a loud jump scare noise over there. Yeah. Very long. I, I just have some questions I want to ask. How do we? IRS, what are they doing? Morse code? Oh, or sign. Sign. Yeah, it's the IRS. Why didn't they catch that? Is there anything I can do? No, no, no. This is why we need to learn sign. We can have like... Appreciate it. We can communicate mm -hmm. around people who don't know sign. That's true. What the fuck is that? Huh? Do you know what's going on? Uh -huh. More people coming around here? Maybe you should have locked the door, dude. Did she see him sign? Dispatch? Dispatch. Oh shit! This fucking jump scare noise, bro, got me. These guys are like walkers from, uh, <laughs> from the Walking Dead. Yeah. You don't hear them come until they're right behind you. Oh. Oh. Happy reunion. That's tough. This is your first time seeing each other in what twenty years? What a reunion, hey. You know what's crazy is buying Maya up is the equivalent of putting a gag in her mouth. Oh yeah, they can't talk to each other. Oh. You're just biding your time? Yeah, she's just chilling. See what I say. Don't underestimate her. I need to get me a shoe like that. So much smaller than her. Yeah, it's not drifting if you're the one ghosting. Uh... I would have turned her in myself, correct up on it. Left it up for grabs, and I'm grabbing. Hey, hey, do not assume me. What did she say to her? Jesus. That was not even a warning. You give him a second to prepare. <laughs> Bro, he, he might as well have just punched. Okay, so 
her back in there too. No. She's coming with us. Come on. I'm going to punch you. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with one of those one day. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna slip it. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Damn! All those guys. What's it? Yeah. I don't like the please See all those guys? Cannon fodder. Guarantee you, it's the real deal. Assuming you brought For Maya. Oh. No. We got protocol. You know when there's a bunch of like henchmen and there's gonna be a fight scene. Yeah. Oh, is it? Is she gonna make making like a mini crossbow or some shit? She's is she gonna use the ruler blade as part of her leg? Oh. Or not? Jesus. Talk about resourceful. Where do you find the? Oh. Damn. I'm gonna go check on something. Yeah. Matter of fact, she probably needs a hand with that, so I'm gonna head out and I'll be right. Was someone wrong? You fucked up. No. I'm gonna go. Shit. Oh, holy, shit. oh, holy fuck. Thank you for the art tip. Would have been nice if she were, you know, here. Ah. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, that's smart. Blast it. Ah. Uh... So they can't hear they shit. They can't hear. Maya's in her element. It's like fighting Daredevil in the dark. Yeah. Is this a fun hat? Damn. No! Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Did he set that up? Oh, it was a rig. I want to beat up a bunch of dudes to music. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Using the past avatar skills. <laughs> yeah, she's <laughs> in the avatar state right now. <laughs> Is she seeing that while she fights? I don't know. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh, jeez. Triangle? No, no, no. Oh, suplex. That fucking suplex. Oh. I have all this camera work. This is a good fight. Oh, oh that was. That was smooth! Yeah. Pick it up. Bro, she's gone through like three panes of glass so far. 
Oh. None of these people know how to use a gun. Why are they go? Why are they coming close range? You gotta beat them with fucking fake guns. You know? Oh, dick. Using the uh. Oh. The cord of the gun as a whip. Oh my god, you ever been hit one by one of those things? I haven't, but I've imagined it. <laughs> They're just fucking pinballs. Oh. Yeah, did everyone lose their gun? Oh! Uh. Oh. Classic. You beat every guy, and then the last one just has a hostage. Yeah, if I was the other guy, then I saw that the guy already had a hostage. I would just wait till she sees the hostage. <laughs> like, I'm not fucking... Damn, they got her on her knees? Holy shit, execution. Very cinematic execution. Oh! What I think just like Fisk was about to walk into the room or something. That was obviously Fisk. He called him, eh? Pretty sure, yeah. Like, who else would have he been talking to with that much like fear? Sorry, you had to look real. <laughs> Wait, how did they? Did they just left her? They said like, "Let's go." I think Fisk called them off. Oh, I thought they were going to take them at least. Well, I'm wondering what his plan is then. She's going to break that promise. I wish I had Maya's powers and I could just call upon my ancestors for their for their skills. For their strength, yeah. Which part? <laughs> <laughs> Where we were kidnapped by the guy who cleans my skates. Or the part where we almost die because there's a price on your head. I feel his frustration. <laughs> Just a day ago, he was telling her to chill out. Yeah, literally no one else would call it off if he was dead, because that would be like... Look, the offer still stands. I'm helping you. Hmm. We've got a new leg? Damn. Wait, what? Hello. <laughs> you uh, live in New York. You represent your people. How would that work? That means uh, Chaka Tushka. Oh. On this if you uh, don't. Uh, I mean, it looks I, like you put a lot of work into it. I could. Uh... Have we seen her smile before? I feel like we have. Very rare. Yeah, I'm also confused at how. Oh! It's just a piece that goes on top of. Uh... You know, I do things we wish were different. It seems a big theme of 
this season is Maya reconnecting with her past and like all the people she left behind. How much she changed since she left. I think that looks badass, just saying. Imagine catching one of those to the face. I know. It looks like armor. It leaves the fucking imprint on you. Fucking. And Maya is like really big into her kicks. Yeah. She's a like karate slash taekwondo. That was a mm. hard punch. She never saw Bonnie. I can't even see Biscuits again. Biscuits really into it. He's... He's yeah. playing. Yeah. You know who's not into it? Shula. You're active. So what was Tukla's specific... ability? Was it her aim? Like a... I think so. Dead shot? That's all it showed us. Oh. What? Is this a hallucination? There's no way. Looks like a hallucination. How does he look like he's not there? Because part of me doesn't think this is real. Unless the episode ends right here. Oh my god, is it real? I think so. The fuck? He has... Fucking popped up like a horror movie villain. God damn. All that build up and he just shows up. <laughs> He's like... Well, I guess he was the one that called <laughs> off those, those, he did. those guys. Alright, that was Echo Season... One episode three, Tuklo. Is there a world in which Bisk actually cares about Maya and doesn't want no. to hurt her? Why would he call the, his guys off? Show up to her alone? Maybe if he thinks he can still use her in some way. Or he wants to get the revenge himself. I don't know. We know that Fisk is capable of love, right? With, With Vanessa. Vanessa? True, but we the, also like, know family he's a master spot. manipulator. His mom, too. Did have a sweet spot for his mom. And it seems he, he like he was genuinely um, disappointed when Maya first turned against him. But it also feels like, in the end of the day, she's just one of his henchmen's kids. You know? like Oh, yeah, they're not... Actually related? No, yeah, she's like she's just known Fisk through these operations, and I feel like Fisk thinks all of his people are expendable tools. Yeah, like he doesn't value them as like like he didn't value Bullseye. Right. He just utilized him as a fucking. Oh, Wait, we, we also we just saw that picture of him like holding Maya's hand as a kid, mm -hmm. and acting as her. Maybe a mentor figure or like her loving uncle, if you yeah. can ever use those words to describe Fisk. I'm going to put out a bold prediction and say that Fisk might actually be wanting to reconcile with Maya, if not like, like not direct revenge. Or like you said, try to win her back, like so he can keep using her as a tool. Yeah, like he might have a mission or a job, or maybe he wants to put her up against Daredevil. Maybe. And but he's I, like, you I, do like, this and I won't murder your entire fucking village here. I just get the feeling that some part of him does care for her. Maybe. That was a sick episode, though. It was. Because like in Hawkeye, he called her like, my Maya. She turned against me. Remember that? Hold on. Like, I'm just thinking about his reaction when he when she first turned against him. Mm -hmm. 
in life. She's talking to us. I'm just saying my Maya is not something you use to refer to someone you only see as just a tool. But maybe like when I got when he like he continued it with saying, now what shall we do about it? Knowing that that's like something that needs to be dealt with. Well, and, and the way he said it, slide, but yeah, but the way he hurt. said it, I don't know. It's it, it seemed it seemed like he was more like maybe he thinks my he, precious like he owns her tool. Yeah, like he's like like he, my fucking my ace card, my best fucking thing. Because Fisk is, is all about it. control. Yeah, and like someone like him cannot handle not being in control. Mm -hmm. So the like Maya turning on him is something like, that would definitely like like Maya is his token, is his weapon to use. And he's like, my, my, yeah. I, At least I'm, that's I'm how still, I'm seeing. I'm still going to predict, just in case I'm right, that there's a part of him that does... That loves my Loves, that does love her. Just because I think it would be an, a very interesting, like a very different side of him. That would be interesting to see. Mm -hmm. But I'm really curious to see how that reunion is going to turn out. Yeah. How do you, how do you uh, approach someone... When Maya's the last time strapped, you interacted, eh? she uh she shot you in the face. Yeah, Maya's not strapped up, is she? I would be very surprised if she doesn't have like a gun in her. She uh, should. She someone like her. She's I seem. I assume she always has something on her, at least a knife. She just needs to get another headshot, bro. And she has a bounty on her. Why wouldn't she walk around with weapons? Yeah, she should. It's true. That fight scene, I'm really loving the choreography in the show. Mm -hmm. The camera work, especially the way the that one yeah that one shot was tilting. Side shot was like tilting slowly, and was she was kind of John Wick. I just get John Wicking it too. The way she was with that gun, calling upon a uh, two clothes, two clo or two clo, two clo. I think it was gun mm -hmm. gun skills. Yeah, no, that was sick. That was a sick fight scene. I like. I'm liking the choreography. I only have two episodes left. Man, I'm liking the gore. Like Yeah, the way um God damn the the shot of the name? blood in his eyes and falling through his forehead. That was uh that was I didn't like him. That was a shitty way to go out. Yeah. Just choking on your own. He got warned blood. about it too. Shot in the back as you're just trying to run. He got if that was me, I would have just caught the bullet with my teeth. Yeah, the bullets would have actually just bounced off of me. <laughs> And I, then I, I would have dealt with them. It was a good fight scene. You can see the actress doing a lot of the actual fighting too. I, I don't. There's not a lot of shots where I can see like, oh, that was clearly a stunt double. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering how much actual like fight experience she has prior to this role, or if yeah, she yeah. trained to do those fights. I wouldn't be the way she moves. I wouldn't be surprised if she has some previous martial arts experience. Mm -hmm. um, what else happened this episode? Bonnie reunion. Oh, yeah. I think we're finally teaming up with Uncle Henry. Mm -hmm. Chula's being Chula. And she got a new leg brace. Yeah. With the symbol of the warrior of the. I'm getting a. I'm, I'm feeling like that's maybe one in a. Or the first in a. What's going to eventually be an actual full getup. She doesn't really have a costume. Yeah, she just got leather jackets and... Some... And it looks badass. But, yeah. like, I feel like if she's eventually going to become a... Or have an, a new identity as Echo, she needs a new outfit. Yeah. I'm looking forward to when she actually takes on that moniker, too. Because, like, the show is titled Echo. You can't just not eventually mm -hmm. have her become Echo. That was a great episode. If you like this video... Please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, drop a comment, let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments, and I will see you in the next. Peace.